Happy 4th of July, everybody. Hopefully we're doing good. Hopefully the hangovers from last night aren't too bad. And we kept it to a minimum. Everybody was safe and had a ton of fun. You guys might know, but I am from Rhode Island, which is home to Bristol, Rhode Island, the town right next to my hometown. And they have the longest running 4th of July parade in the country. They are very proud of that. So today, we're gonna go check out the parade route before it goes, because today is July 3rd. You guys will be watching this on July 4th. At least I hope so. And the vibes around here definitely go up a couple out there in this time of the year. You never really need an excuse to party when you live near the ocean, but the people around here certainly look for every excuse. And 4th of July must be the biggest excuse. The last day of June is when the fireworks start. Last night was like fireworks all night long in my neighborhood. Even though it's technically illegal for people to be popping off fireworks around here, nobody cares. It is insane. I can just sit in my backyard and watch fireworks in every single direction. There's a horse pooping taking the nature today also i am running out of gas i've never taken this thing to reserve before and i forgot to trip my meter on my last fill up so there's no real point of running it empty right now running it towards reserve because i won't know exactly how many miles it was anyway i've still yet to push the tank to empty to find out exactly or around exactly how much i get so maybe we'll have to do that in the future do one long ride Run it till we hit reserve. Bring a, a little gas tank and just run it to empty, maybe. The boats are out. No, you're not supposed to break for this. anywhere near this person hopefully the parade route's not completely closed off right now because it can get pretty wild when we're nearing the parade times back when i was growing up i used to go to the parade like every year people would get there several hours early just to get their spot on the sidewalk it was crazy but man it was the most fun find those little pop rock things little poppers like tiny little gunpowder pieces in paper and you throw them on the ground and they pop or the little confetti shooters where it kind of looks like a bottle cap and then you pull it back and it pops the confetti into the air oh there's so much fun little stuff my parents used to hate it i wanted to buy everything every year go up to every table and buy all those stacks of balloons and different little toys I remember Beyblades were popular back then. They'd have different type of Beyblades. There was always a station selling magic cards for some reason. <laughs> Buy like a whole bag of magic cards. Get like 300 of them for 10 bucks. I still have so many of those magic cards from when I was younger. I didn't even know what they were at the time. I just thought they had really cool art. I have to head downtown in a minute here. I hate this area, Medicom. It's so congested. You get four lanes that turn into two with one passing lane in the middle. Please don't turn right. Still dreaming about the second bike, but I think I'm content with this bike for the first season. We're probably gonna ride this out, no pun intended, until the end of the season. And then we'll hop on the used market when it comes winter time around here. Everybody wants to sell their bike but it is impossible to be riding your bike full all year long around here. So a lot of people get a new bike every summer. No joke. Sell it for a few hundred dollars loss. You don't have to pay any more insurance. And things really hold their value around here. If you get a sport bike for cheap, you should be able to sell it for around what you paid for it. Things fly off the market. I'll see like a nice a Gixxer 750 and it'll disappear in like two hours I think it'll be sold in no time third gear is very interesting on my motorcycle right now it's probably got the most acceleration out of all my gears and the most engine braking by a lot when I'm in third I don't even need to brake at all engine braking take care of, takes care of all of it
four is a little bit lighter and the fifth feels ideal it's a bit much to be honest like if i'm going 60 miles an hour on the freeway or something and i let go of the throttle it's like yanking me backwards engine braking kicks in hard i guess that's what you get with an off-road bike like this I need to do a zero to 60 test now that everything's broken in. Got my bike settled to where I want it to be. See what our best zero to 60 times are. I would say around eight, nine seconds. That would be my estimate. What do you guys think? Leave in comments your estimate for my zero to 60 time and I'll get that done in the next video. Whoever gets it right wins uh, the satisfaction of being right. Cause I got nothing to give out. Hey, that's a cool one slingshot who the traffic is getting dense god i wish lane splitting was legal around here or lane filtering i'd go all the way up to the front right now you'll know when we're in the parade route when you see red white and blue lines for the center line instead of these two yellow lines but as we get closer into downtown you'll start seeing red white and blue everything and it'll give you a good idea where we're going idle in a tad bit high There it is, see the lines? Some fresh red, white, and blue lines. Got the flags on every single pole. This is the oldest parade route in America. Tomorrow this street will be packed. Both sides, vendors, people, music, good times, drinks, lots of partying, lots of bikers out. Oh, it's, it's a fun time. It'll wear you out though. It's hard to pace yourself when you're up at six in the morning drinking for a parade. Oh my God, my nuts. Goes by the water, the sip and dip that gets absolutely smacked. That place is packed. Really, really good firework show that happens here every year. People line this area. When I was in high school and college, this was the place to be. I'd be on my longboard, just flying between house to house. Going from party to party. Doing deplorable activities that my parents would not be proud of. But we made it. Somehow we made it out of that clean. Nowadays with all the fentanyl and all this other crazy shit going around, I don't know how my life would have panned out. I got lucky to go through my party years when I did before things got a little bit out of hand. Not that they weren't out of hand before, but I kept my nose out of the bad stuff. Pun intended. We don't have a stop sign, Papa. Damn, this street seems more cramped than I remember it. My memories of being little and being at the parade, it was like the biggest thing in the world to me. It felt like stepping into a new universe. Like going to a circus. Actually, that reminds me, one time my parents brought me to a big ass circus, like inside of a stadium. I think it was like Barnum and Bailey's or whatever. And I got lost. Like I walked off away from my parents and just started walking around like the outdoor area. Not outdoor, but like outside of the stadium where there's just a bunch of shops and stuff and different things happening. And it was like a fever dream. Walking through there as like an eight year old, <laughs> just seeing all the crazy clowns and art and the jesters and different type of like freak show stuff. Cause this was like early 2000s. Things were crazy back then. They also have concerts every year. There was concerts every night leading up to the parade. Another really good excuse to sit outside and get drunk. Ooh, that was a late, a late wave. 
Hopefully you saw me. One time I walked in it. I forgot what it was for, but I was pulling a goat. I think it was for some Portuguese festival thing. And I had to like walk this goat the entire parade route and it just did not want to move. It would stop every 10 feet and look at me like, what bitch? What are you gonna do about me not moving right now? I would just be like, come on, please move, everybody's walking. And the goat's just like, nah. Oh, nice, we got the bikers in the middle of the street. The sidewalk isn't that bad. Like, it isn't great, but probably better than holding up traffic. I swam. It's an older lady. Maybe she shouldn't be on the sidewalk with that bike. It can get dangerous. Should be nearing the end. the end Alright guys, I'm gonna head to the bank and head to the dispensary. That's gonna be it for today. Peace!